Progressive presents Get Pumped. Inspiration to help you do insurance stuff. Okay, time out. You're going to let your budget be the boss of you? Take control with Progressive's Name Your Price tool. Tell us what you want to pay for car insurance, and we'll help you find options that fit your budget. Here's some music to get you pumped. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, dang, dang. I hear your budget laughing at you. Oh, wait, that's just those kids laughing at me. Ignore them! Da -dum, da -dum, Progressive da -dum, Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Blog Talk Radio. That you left behind I knew I had to move on If I wanted to survive So I just buried your old memory alive I tried to kill my love for you With no Inside. I've tried to kill your memory, it refuses to die. It keeps hanging on, hanging on for dear life. So I just buried that old memory alive. If I were to survive So I just buried your old memory alive Taking me a while. I'm also uploading one song 
from the music artists that I have on my show simply so you can listen to the song and then go find them and buy their music. Their song is not for music on that site, and you cannot download it, but you can listen to it, and then you can go buy their music. Yes, I'm evil, I know, but that's how we roll here. (laughs) I want to welcome you all to the show tonight, and I want to tell you that this show is your show, ladies and gentlemen. You, the listener, you, my guest, it's not my show. I am just the facilitator, and because it is your show and because you all are so wonderful, we have reached 160,000 listeners between the show itself and all the podcasts. By the end of the year, I expect us to have 200,000 listeners. We are heard in over 200 countries. So if you want to be on the show, contact me on offthechainradio at yahoo.com. You can be on the show two ways. You can be on the show as a guest, or you can send me an ad. I'm not in it to get rich. It's not my shtick. I just want everybody to be successful. And the way you, you do that is you contact me, and for 10 bucks a month, I'll do your ad for a month. If I have to reschedule shows, because most of you know my husband is very ill, your ad goes with the show. I don't I don't cheat you out of anything. And speaking of that... Two of my wonderful, wonderful sponsors I will start the night off with. One of them is author Diane Moat, and she has a series. It's called the Sam Holden Series. The second in the series is called Dog Fight, and it goes like this. Wherever a helpless animal whimpers in the dark and wherever the system fails to protect an animal, she'll be there, and she isn't giving up anytime soon. So all of you have been warned. When Sam Holden receives a tip about a brutal dog fighting ring, She embarks on some of her most dangerous acts of vigilantism yet. The monster known as the puppeteer will circle Sam's world as she unknowingly circles his. While they chase each other, will Sam put those that she loves most in harm's way in order to bust up the ring? So with time running out and animals in need, the dangerous life that Sam has created begins to eclipse any other life that she could ever lead. Go to Kindle, ladies and gentlemen, on Amazon. Look up Diane Mode and look up Dog Fight. And if you haven't yet read the start of the series, start with Dog Gone. And Australia, I want to thank y'all. Because of this ad and because y'all are our biggest listening base, you put her number one in Australia on her series. So thank you, guys. The second co-sponsor I have, which I absolutely adore, her name is Cece Chamberlain, and she has a podcast called Inside Your Life with Cece. It is a motivational, passionate conversation. She interviews people who are living their true purpose, and it doesn't matter if you're a boxer, an author, a garbage collector, a music artist, it doesn't matter. Cece strives to give one hope for a brighter day with her inspirational words. So download, subscribe, and listen as Cece guides you to pursue your dreams for you to live your best life possible. Her wonderful show is available on podcast.com, iTunes, Google Play, and everywhere else podcasts are available. Now that we've got that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) the guest that I have tonight, I want to be her when I grow up. And you will understand why when I introduce her. Her name is Margie Singleton, and she is an indie music artist. She has been around the block several times. She is 82 years young. And and this woman, the song you just heard called I Buried Your Memory Alive took me back (laughs) <laughs> 62 years ago when I was a little girl and I was in my daddy's Oldsmobile and we're going down the road and my mother's saying, CL, turn off that honky-tonk music. That is as <laughs> old school as it gets, and I love it. She was born Margaret Louise Ebby, and she's born October the 5th, 1935. She's known professionally as Margie Singleton, and she is an American country music singer and songwriter. In the 1960s, she was a popular duet and solo recording artist working with country stars George Jones and Farron Young, and she was the first female artist to do an entire album with George Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Singleton had her biggest hit with Farron Young called Keeping Up with the Joneses in 1964. I remember that song well. She managed a successful solo career in the 60s, recording nine 
count them, nine top 40 Billboard country hits, including a top five. In addition to being a solo and duet, duet star, she also sang as a backup vocalist with the Jordanaires, and I remember them oh so well. Numerous performers recorded many of her songs, including Teresa Brewer, Tammy Wynette, and my all-time favorite, Charlie Pride. In 1964, Singleton teamed up with singer Farron Young, and together they recorded the song Keeping Up with the Joneses. That year, the song reached the country top five and became her biggest hit. Now at the age of 82 years young, Margie Singleton is back with a new single and video for her song, Jesus Is My Pusher. And again, I want to be her when I grow up. Welcome, Miss Margie, <laughs> and welcome to the show. Well, my goodness, I'm telling you, I had to think about who you're talking about there, girl. You got yourself <laughs> educated, educated, as some people say. <laughs> And we hadn't even touched the surface. We just we hadn't started. Even, we just on the surface. <laughs> I am telling uh, you. you and, are and, something and ladies else, and gentlemen, sir. you will you will hear me calling this beautiful creature Miss Margie because I am from the state of Georgia, born, raised, and reared. And if I called her Margie, my grandmother would get up out of her grave and kick my behind because Absolutely. we respect. People with age, you Our understand elders. perfectly. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> See, I say oh, that too. <laughs> you know, my Leon, uh, my husband was Leon Ashley. I uh, 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 touched on it when before the show. Leon wrote and recorded and put it out on his own label and made a number one hit out of Laura. What's he got that I ain't got? In 1967, and he's from Georgia. And you know, this past year. Because we had a farm in Georgia, and I, but I live here. But we did a lot of work in Georgia, and I just won the the uh, 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 inducted into the Atlanta Country Music Hall of Fame this last year. Which were and you're you from really? Yes, I was. I was just so blessed with that because that's where he was from, and and they were going to induct him and he got sick and so I felt like I, I got it for him you know but what um, part of Georgia got, was was Mr. Leon he, from well actually you may never heard of it but Mansfield Georgia it's around Covington Georgia 45 oh, miles I know exactly east. where Mansfield it yes That's I know that part of the town I know wow. that part of the world like the back of my hand That's incredible my goodness, my stepson, uh, Leon Jr., still lives there, he and his family, um, and uh, he's very sick now. You was talking about congestive heart failure a while ago. He He's 59 years old, and he has congestive heart failure and, and uh, it just went on dialysis, which is a sad, sad thing. And, and that, yeah, because <laughs> my husband's in stage four stage three kidney failure and it's from the uh, diabetes and the congestive heart failure it, it all runs together yeah yeah, yeah. but it's, it is such a small small world see ladies it and gentlemen and it gets smaller Georgia, every it, day it does it absolutely does i've met so many people on uh, you know i got my first phone iphone so to speak uh, when Leon was very sick, and I didn't know how to use it and, or anything, but I wanted it to take some pictures of him and do some little videos before, because we knew he was terminal. And uh, uh, I, it's been a hard thing for me to learn this this stuff. You know, it's all Greek to me, but everybody says, "Well, you're doing good," but I get so confused and mixed up trying to do stuff on. I don't can't feel use bad. the computer. Oh, don't I've tell me I've that been. because, girl, you doing what you're doing and coming on with all that stuff. You, you got been, it. Been, but look, I still get confused, and I've been into technology for years, but there's still days really? that I want to pick my stuff out in the yard. <laughs> girl, I know it. It's it's terrible, and and you know these people are so these people are crazy. They're always trying to do things to you. 
I'll get them. I'll get a message from uh, one of my Facebook friends, and uh-huh. it's strange. Uh-huh. It's a strange message. It's it's, it's uh, to say, "Hey, are you there?" Then another message later, if I don't answer, "How you doing?" And I know all, and I bit for it, bit on it the first time it happened, and I carried. They carried me all the way to sending them fifteen hundred dollars. So they Ooh. could give me a hundred thousand dollars, but that you was say I don't think so. Uh uh. But I said uh uh-uh, uh. You I don't think I said get out of my life. And from then on, but every week I'll get two or three people like that. And it's and crazy. It, it, when I was in college and studying criminal justice and and studying cybercrime. Mm-hmm. My professor said, Yvonne, for every mousetrap that we build, the crooks build a bigger mouse, and that's true. That's incredible, isn't it? I mean, there's it, just it crooks is. everywhere. Oh, so, my goodness. Let's, let's go back into history, because I have a piece of history on the other end of my phone, and I want you to take me down memory lane and tell oh, me... How in the world you were the first female artist to record? And and ladies and gentlemen, I'm not talking four, five, six songs. Back during the day, on an album, there were 14 to 16 songs, and you and you were the first female to record an entire album with Georgia Jones. How in the world did that happen? And and it had to have been a time in your life that you'll never forget. Of course not, but you know. Neither one of us, I mean, uh, George wasn't George Jones then, that he became to be. I mean, he was George Jones, but he came, he became being George Jones, you know, <laughs> later <laughs> yeah. on, the the the, uh, the all-time greatest artist in country music. And I felt, you know, at that time, we were just, uh, we were peers, and we were both recording for the same label, and they just put us together. And we were both from the Louisiana Hayride. He, uh, he you know, down there, that's where we met, and uh-huh. and uh, we knew each other. And, and the label just put us together, and uh, it, it worked out real good. And I happened to have written a couple of songs on that album. And you know what? This past year, this, well, in, in this year, this year here, I think it has been since this new year. At times passing, passing so fast, I just don't know what time it is. But Bear Family Records in Germany, uh, or you, you're familiar with Bear Family, I'm sure. Uh-huh. They put uh-huh. out these huge box sets. They put out a, a, a box set of George Jones, his hits from 1956, I think, to 1963, the Day Years. And um, it has it has six CDs with thirty three songs on each one. It has a book a book hardback book in there with one hundred and seventy nine pages of autographs, autobiographies, and biographies and pictures. And I have about six pages in there. And I have wow fourteen songs in there. I just could not believe that. You know, I just couldn't believe it, and I just am so blessed to have sung with three of the finest country music artists in the world, first George Jones, then Farron Young, then Leon Ashley. He was a great artist, and he had lots of hits, and we had a hit on Hanging On, he and I did, and on a song called Four O'Clock, and we did a lot of things together, but we were separate, too. And um, we just kind of got a, started doing our own thing, you know. When he when he did Laura, what's he got that I ain't got? It, he was a new boy in town. He was from Atlanta. He owned six, seven radio stations, and he decided he saw me one day walking down the street, and he told he said, "Who is that?" And this person was looking. He was looking down. On the the street from a, from an office above 16th Avenue, 
Uh-huh. And I was walking down the street with a friend, and he, he asked this booking agent, he said, who is that walking down the street? He said, that's Shelby Singleton's ex-wife. He said, he said well, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> and see, I had never met him. Well, he he had managed Dearly Lewis. Now, we'll go back a little bit. He managed Jerry Lee Lewis during the time that Jerry married his 13-year-old cousin, and which was a big deal. But anyway, uh-huh. my ex-husband, this was when I was still with him, he signed Jerry Lee to Mercury Records, and he went to Memphis to sign him. And while we were at his house, I went with him. The phone rang, and Jerry asked, me to answer it and I, I did and it was Leon Ashley and I heard his voice now then he saw me on the street and then he my my secretary came to me one day and she said you just got to go to Tootsie's with me you know about Tootsie's don't you oh yeah, oh, yeah. okay <laughs> you'll have to fill your <laughs> listeners in on Tootsie's but anyway he was <laughs> Tootsie loved Leon, and this was before I met him, not as a lover, but she, he was one of her boys. She she took care of her her singers and, and watched out for him. But anyway, uh, she said, you got to go down to Tootsie's and hear this guy. She said, he is incredible. And I went, and he had a song all called You Gave Me Reason to Live, and he had written it about his little son. And he and his wife were divorced, and it was a long story there. But anyway, the voice was just so incredible, and I fell in love with the man's voice. And so then, uh, after my husband and I broke up, Shelby and I, uh, well, we had, Farron and I had the hit Keeping Up with the Joneses, and I had lost my, my uh, way of making a living because I was singing background with with uh, with the Jordanaires, we had three Jordanaires: myself, Priscilla Mitchell, which was Jerry Reed's wife, and a girl named Millie Kirkham, who did all those beautiful high notes on the songs recorded back then. And that was called the Merry Melody Singers. And so I lost all that because when my husband Shelby left me, well, I was out. You know, I wasn't background singing no more. <laughs> so Far- he just Farron took everything. Said, he took it all, girl. And, and, and so I, Farron said, well, all I know for you to do is just go on the road with me. And I said, well, good. Here I am. So uh, I did, and we, we toured for a good while. And and Farron actually introduced me to Leon. After all these chance meetings that we missed, over a period of time, Farron introduced me to Leon Ashley. That was his friend. And so uh, we met like in May. And uh, in, uh, for Christmas, I went home to my family in Shreveport. And, and Leon followed me, came came down there to meet my family. And, and uh, he asked me to marry him. And he came back to Nashville and he told Farron, he said, you know, I'm fixing to ask Margie to marry me. He said, well, you know Farron's mouth. You know, he said, you can imagine what he said. To eight, you say. He said, yes, I am. He said, well, you know, we got book shows booked way ahead in advance. What are we going to do about that? She she can do the shows, can't she? Leon said, of course she can do the shows. And he said, I'm going with her. <laughs> So, Leon and me went on the road with Farron for a while. <laughs> that, and and when you when you were talking about the Louisiana Hayride, I remember uh-huh. watching as a child every Saturday night the Louisiana Hayride. Oh yes, honey, that was the cradle of the stars. They called it. Yes, it was. They called everybody, just about everybody that came to the Grand Ole Opry had been on the Hayride. Uh huh. You know. And uh, let me tell you another incredible thing about the hayride. I'm talking you to death, and probably no. you don't want me to. You yes, I do. This is history. I'm, <laughs> I'm drooling here. 
Oh, you're so precious. I can't lose you. You know, I, I meet people that I just can't lose, so you got to stay in touch with me. Well, uh, I've liked your Facebook that. page, so absolutely. You do? Yeah, you I do liked your like Facebook you? page this, mor- this morning, and I've posted, when I posted the shows, I posted them so they would go to your Facebook page. Oh, I haven't looked today. You better, uh-huh. you better send me a friend request then. Well, I can, can do that do- too. Okay. You've got, well, have you got two two pages? Just just Margie Singleton will get it, I think, or Margie Singleton Walton. I've got a I've got a, a fan page, uh, Margie Single. Well, my website is MargieSingletonMusic.com. dot com. And they can get my my things on CD Baby, or can get in touch with me on MargieSingletonMusic.com. dot com. Let me tell you about the hayride now. Uh, Bear family again. Just this year, just in the past few months, released. Now this is incredible. A hundred and twenty hours of live shows of the Louisiana hayride. Oh my! And it's a Huge box set, and I have eleven songs on there. I'm scared to listen to them because Why? The, I don't know how I sounded. I, some of the songs, my first records, I can't hardly listen to. <laughs> People was say, this historian called me one day and he said, uh, "I want you to do uh, two of your songs that you recorded on Star Day." And he picked two songs out, and You're My Special Dream was one of them, and one one of them was, um, it was a gospel song, I'll think of it in a minute. And the gospel song, I said, okay, but man, do you really want me to do that other one? And he said, yes, ma'am, I do. It's my favorite. And I listened to it, and I thought, well, Pappy Daly was head of Star Day and, and, and at that time, and he let me record for him, and I thought, what did the man see in that girl? But he must have had a little bit of vision that I might get a little bit better on down the line. But I will tell you, I cut that song. The boy came up here. He paid for the session and everything. And we got an incredible, we got an incredible cut on it. And it's going to be in my next uh, country CD that I'm working on now. Well, I can't it's wait for you to release it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm slow. I'm slow. I'm, to, I'm, I'm a, that's all right. Ahead. I'm going to play I Choose You. I have this one I and one more. That, yeah, I cho- see, I, I can't you. talk tonight because I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, <laughs> and I'm starstruck. <laughs> Oh, Ladies and so gentlemen, sweet. this is Off the Chain. I'm your host, Yvonne Mason, with my guest, the one and only and the queen that I want to be when I grow up, country music <laughs> artist, Miss Margie Singleton, who I absolutely adore. And, yes, I did send you a friend request under Margie Singleton Walton, and we're going to play I Chose You. Hold on. My 
I'm saving that one for when you come back because I am fully expecting Miss Marty Singleton. I'm coming back. To, of course you are, honey. You're gonna be a regular <laughs> on this show. <laughs> oh man, that sounds awesome. I, well, well, I am not it. done with my hero yet. No, my idol, my oh, icon. No, ma'am, you you you're regular. <laughs> you know, I, I am have bringing a lot you of adopted children, and I, I think I'm just gonna adopt you right here and now. Okay. My adoptees have a new sister. They don't even know it. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, ladies um, and gentlemen, y'all have to remember, I grew up, and I was born in 1951, so I grew up with old country, old rock and roll, and one of my most, to this day, one of my most favorite songs is Harper Valley PTA, because I can go Jeannie C. Riley on you in a heartbeat. What I did not realize is that this mm-hmm. beautiful lady recorded it first. Yes, Lord, that's a big story. But uh, I don't know to get into it or not. But anyway, I did record uh, Tom T. Hall wrote Harper Valley PTA for me to follow uh, Ode to Billy Joe with. I had a big hit on Ode to Billy Joe Country. Bobby Gentry recorded it, wrote it, and recorded it, but they weren't playing her record on the country stations. So Leon uh, my, was my producer, and he said, we're just going to cut it country, and we changed it up, and we did it, and it was a pretty big record for me, and we were going to release Harper Valley when we, we did a European tour, and we got back off the plane, and we got in our vehicle and was coming home, and we heard Jimmy C. Raleigh singing Harper Valley, PTA. And Leon went to the studio, and he said, hey, where's my tape? We left it in the vault at, at Columbia Studio, uh-huh. and it wasn't there. And he said that, well, I'm not going to name names, but he said, well, I have to name names. My ex-husband sent over there to get it and he thought I had sent for it and uh, so he recorded Jimmy C. Riley with it and I understand that she hated the song I mean this is this is secondhand news for me and I'm I got I'm proud of her for what she did she made it a huge record and and she was beautiful and 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 everything and she did an awesome job on it but it what Leon did he went he flew to New York the next day he sold an album on Margie Singleton called Harper Valley PTA, a hundred thousand record order for an album. He came home and we went in the studio. All we had recorded was Harper Valley PTA. We went in the studio. We wrote songs while we were in there, and Marty Robbins let us have. He told us we could rewrite uh, uh, "Lord, You Gave Me a Mountain." For a girl, and I re- we rewrote that. It's in that that Harper Valley PTA album, and uh, we we got our album out first. And of course, as I said, we had a standing order of a hundred thousand albums. So, but I didn't get the single. I didn't build T- uh, Tom T. He lived. He said he lived in the house that Jeannie Jeannie bought for him. So <laughs> she, she did. Uh, she did real well with it, and I'm proud of her. And I, she's my friend on Facebook, and we have, you know, I I, I knew it wasn't her, and uh, it just, it, it, of course, it it killed my record. But that's okay. God didn't want me to go that way, you know. He exactly. he. Well, and you. Well, it, 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 talking about Marty Robbins, ladies and gentlemen, this woman is just. I'm telling you, I'm I'm fangirling here. I can't help it because <laughs> she she is living history, and all of you that know me know how much I love history. And this woman is living history. She was in a movie with Marty Robbins called Road to Nashville in 1968. Oh, yes, I sung a song. Um, uh, Seems you'd never been gone, and. That song has a kind of a history, too. You might need to play something or talk yourself before I say anything else. No, you go right that, ahead. That song, well, as I said, my husband, Leon, was married before, 
and he had a pretty tragic divorce and 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 uh, I won't go sometimes I'll tell you privately but uh his ex while we were in Shreveport Louisiana where where the hayride was but he had a radio station there and we moved there for the summer and uh and so his ex-wife called him and said I need to see you about the kids and so uh, he he promised to meet her in in a in a place and I'm telling this is the truth when he walked in when he was already in there where they were going to meet and she walked in and uh, this record seemed you'd never been gone was playing it says I saw you for the first time in a long time today yes. and just for a moment the years rolled away and she was walking in there seeing her ex-husband who evidently she still cared for for the first time and can you imagine the pain in her heart but mm-hmm. he didn't play it it was on the jukebox, and somebody else played. It was coincidence that the song was playing. Oh so my! That, isn't that something? There's just so many little uh, little tales. I need all this for my book that I'm telling you, yes, so you I can want to go back and remember it. <laughs> yes, you. Can. You've got to put. A, listen, I own. A, I'm co-owner of a publishing house. We'll get your book published. Oh well, Amen. I'll get right on it. Okay. And while we're while you're filing that away, I'm going to play on the other side of life because, okay. ladies and gentlemen, there is a story. This is off the chain with your mm-hmm. host Yvonne Mason and and the most wonderful woman in the world, country music artist oh. Miss Martin Singleton, and she's my hero. So hold on and let's play on the other side of life. <laughs> On the other side of life, I will be waiting. If I get there before you do, but if you happen to arrive before I do, wait on me, I'll be coming. I had a dream last night I went to heaven I was searching everywhere for you Then I looked down at Jesus' feet And I saw you Waiting there for me Just the way I prayed you'd be Then I knew I had reached the end of life's journey All my struggles and heartaches were through What more could What more could I have than to be in heaven and spend eternity with my Jesus and you? Let it be so, let it be true, let it be me, let it be all. More than just a dream Jesus 
instruments and, and my voice on it, and then we'll do the video. It'll take a few weeks, month, maybe or two, but it, it'll be out, and I'll, I'll let you know when it is. Oh, I cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are just turning in, just you'll just have to listen to the rest of the show and then go back and listen to the archives because I've been doing this show a long, long, long time, and I've had many, many guests, artists, artists of all kinds, writers, passionate people, platforms, political causes. But I am talking to a piece of living country music history. This this beautiful woman goes way, way back, and she has forgotten probably more than most of us will ever learn. And And she is, God willing, will be a regular on this show because I want to learn more of the living history of country music and the stories that she has of how her songs came about, of of the journey that she's taken. You can't make this stuff up. Trust me. Am I right, Margie? Oh, no. No. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> it's like, but... It, you know, it's just my life. But anyway, you as my as my publisher for my book, you gotta you gotta archive this because I gotta have all this to put in our book. You Absolutely. know what? Absolutely. Uh, do you write them too? Do you put the books down, or do you just publish them? I um, mean, am I talking to my my writer too? If you want me to write your story, I will write your story. I don't I am an to, author. I, I, you are an author? Yes, well, ma'am. Maybe that's where we start, honey. Maybe I'm not only adopted me a daughter, but a publisher and a writer and the whole bit. You because got it. Because we have connected we have connected here in a godly way and I give all God I give God all the praise for everything Absolutely. that's happened to me. I have failed him so many times and we're all sinners saved by the grace of God and I am saved and sanctified and I'm ready to go when he calls me because uh, he's been so good to me. He's left me here 12 years longer than the 70 years promised to man, you know. Well, you know what? I don't think I think you still got some unfinished business to take care of because he isn't ready for you yet and I think part of it may be you and I hooking up. That may be it, Yvonne. Nothing happens by accident. No, it's ma'am, it does destined. not. I truly believe we were destined to put this off until now because of this new situation. That now that I was supposed to have a CD back several months ago, and it didn't happen. I mean, I've got stuff recorded. It just didn't happen because God didn't want it to. This other thing's got to come out first. I I, I agree that. with you. Think things happen when they're supposed to. Now mm-hmm. we are God's getting timing. exactly. W- believe it or not, Miss Margie, our hour is going to start running out. I know it's gone and I, already, and I can't believe it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> it has. Now I want you to know Hi. I did I sent you a friend request on Mar- Margie Singleton Walton. Yes. Walton, I sent yeah. you a friend request. So when we get off you can accept it and we can hook up on your on your personal page. I have um liked your fan page and that's where I've been sending all the information to today. But okay. I want I'm to bring you page. back Yes, ma'am. I want to bring you back in December. Okay. Well, you got a date? Um, I'm thinking December the seventh or eighth. I've got my I've got my date book. I can't live without my date book. It is so full of stuff. I I couldn't. Uh, okay, December the what? Seventh or eighth? That's a Friday or Saturday night. The seventh is Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. So, you want Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, or you want? Saturday the 8th. You tell me which one's good for you, my love. Why don't we do Friday? The, the okay. The Pearl Harbor day. That might be a good day. We will do Friday, you, December honey? the 8th. You are welcome. I'm telling you, you're a regular on this show. You're not going to get away from me that quick because we got too much to uh, do. 
yeah, well, maybe we can get our book written just right here on the air. On the air. <laughs> now, we'll be swapping oh, phone no. numbers for that one. <laughs> so what yes, I ma'am. want you yes. to do, my sweet one, is to let the folks know where they can find your music and where they can find you. Okay. They can find my music on CD Baby, Margie Singleton. They can find... Uh, I have a I have a, a country album and a gospel album uh, on the other side of life and and country music was soul that they they have right now and they can contact on margiesingletonmusic.com dot com is my website and they can go to my how did you get my page there my you said you've been Facebook posting page stuff I just on, went in the search fan, engine on my Facebook. Fan. Oh, you yeah, I just went in the search page. engine and typed in Margie Singleton, and your fan page came okay. up. Well, that's what they can do. Go to the search engine, get on that train, and it'll lead you to me. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, if you don't go and like this this wonderful woman's page, you are I'm telling you, you're losing out. If you are a history buff of country music, you want to keep up with this lady because she is – Totally amazing, and yes, she's coming back. And Miss Margie, you will get a following on this show. Oh, people that's will... awesome! You... Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Yes, it is. God is so good. Thank you, Lord, he is. for he putting is in... us together. This he is, is absolutely one of... amazing. One of the roads that He's putting us on. I uh-huh. believe with all my heart. And oh, I, I thank too. you, honey. I thank you so much for for being so respectful. I'm I'm really not a household name, as you know. Margie Singleton didn't reach those pinnacles in the in the public eye, but I do have a huge following of of loyal fans who have followed me all my life, and they're they're coming back to me through the social media. Isn't that incredible? It's it's become a very small world, and and Miss Bargie, you're going to become a household name. I see this oh, for you because we're heard in over 200 countries, and and like That's I said incredible. at the top of the yeah, and at the top of the hour, this show goes up on all different kinds of podcasts and Spotify and our Heart Radio, and now I've got you up on Reverb Nation, and I'm going to put one of your songs up so people can listen and then go find the rest of your albums and buy it. They can't download it. Okay. They can't buy it on, on my site. They can just stream it and listen to it. I'm so evil. Okay. <laughs> I want them to go. Well, I, want I, want to go but, I want to tell you, the first song you played, the, the uh, I, I Buried Your Memory Alive, that was yeah. to come out in the album that was detained, so it can't be bought yet. So the but the they ones, can, the but they can that, listen to it and they, they can, can get their appet- yep and get okay. their appetite okay. wet. Yeah, yeah and, and be salivating, waiting on it. Yeah, it'll, and see, it'll get there. see, and you can pro- we can promote it that way. Stay tuned for the album coming out at such and such a time. Mhm. Thank you, honey. You're just awesome. You're just a one. I didn't have a daughter, but I have adopted uh, two or three daughters, maybe four, and loads of sons that help me in my music. My sons are incredible. My my blood sons are. They. I have so much. I, I am. I am so blessed with with. They watch out for me. They. I have a balance hey. issue. I get around real well, but. Mm-hmm. My body is like I'm on a ship in a storm most of the time when I'm sitting and walking, and and they they just lead me around when I'm needed to be led, you know. Well, hang I mean, on I'm just a minute. Mostly... I don't want you to hang up when the show goes offline, but because I got well, some things to tell you. So you just everybody. hang on. Yeah, you hang on. Everybody, this is Off the Chain with your host, Yvonne Mason, and my guest, Miss Margie Singleton, a country music artist that has been around for a long, long time. And it's you, you know that at the end of every show there are a few things I say, and one of them is this. People will forget your name. They'll forget what you look like. They'll even but they will never, ever, ever forget how you made them feel. 
And I hope when you leave this show tonight that that you understand that you are the most important person in the room. All 200,000 of you, you are the most important person of the room. And and remember this, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to achieve greatness, please, please, please stop asking permission. Just go out and get it. And with that being said, I want to say that we will be back here again tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time when we will have a author on the show with us. His name is last name is Spencer, and until then, I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful good evening. And please go and find Miss Margie Singleton and listen to her music. And check us out on our site, Verb Nation. And with that, this is Yvonne Mason with Off the Chain and my host, Miss Margie Singleton. And we say good evening. Good evening. Now. We're off the air. We're no longer live. The show is getting ready to go up into archives. But what I wanted to tell you is when we get off, go ahead and accept my my friend request on That's your personal right. page because uh-huh. I am going to put the show up on my page. I'm going to put the link on my page, and I'm going to tag you awesome. in it. And awesome. then you get to share it with all your network. And then tomorrow when I put it up on all the po- the 15-plus podcast that this show goes up on, I will put those oh, links okay. up and tag you. So you're going to be heard everywhere, my darling. Oh, that is incredible. I hope I didn't say something stupid. Do no, you ma'am, you were looking? amazing. <laughs> you were I amazing. I tried to remember not to say something stupid. Sometimes I put my big foot in my mouth, you know. Um, this is off the chain, remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we call it off the chain. <laughs> well, you just—I gotta stay in line, you know. I gotta remember that that uh, I'm talking to, on the air sometimes. But anyway, you are just wonderful. I'm so happy that you came into my life. Isn't that incredible? Just on the telephone, mm-hmm. we made such a such a. A, a spiritual connection, a heartfelt connection. I feel. I agree. It, it, I do. As soon as you said hello, um, I, uh, because I'm an empath, I pick up. I pick up people's feelings and thoughts and and their aura, and there there's been. My mother is 88 years old, and she's in very poor health. And there's, so there's there's been something missing in my life, and I think that I miss my my grandmother who helped raise me so much that you oh, remind me of her and her love of oh. life. Well, how precious! Well, you're one of mine now. You can't get away from me. So not a chance. To call me mama, you just call me mama M. <laughs> mama, <Okay>. my grandchildren <laughs> call me mama M, but my children call me mama. Uh, Joe Rucker, who is incredible, Scott Sexton. He, we just did a uh, a. a uh, he he started doing country for a cause several years ago, and this year we did it uh, at the at Third and Lindsley. It's a venue here in town that's very well thought of, and they he did it for the Children's Miracle Network. And the proceeds went to our Vanderbilt Hospital, and we raised almost fifteen thousand dollars. Wow! Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kelly Lang and T.G. Shepard, they were the host and hostess. And uh, Vince, uh, it was just, it was just an incredible show. And uh, they raised all that money for it. And the little girl who was the ambassador. She had cancer when she was 11 years old, and she's now 15, and had had brain cancer. And Mm. she went through living hell. And she is the most precious little girl I've ever seen. And she adopted me, too. I'm her grandma. We got to go (laughs) eat. She does live close here. See, there's just something about you, my darling, that... that, Hey, that's a good title for us. There's just something about you. That is an write that song. I'm gonna try. There's just something about you. Yep, write that song. I'm, write, I'm writing it down now. 
I have been told I inspire people, so there, there, there's another you inspiration. Did. Wait, listen, I'm, I'm serious about the book thing. Are you serious? I am, I am serious as a heart attack. Okay. And that's pretty darn serious. It is. <laughs> I'm still writing <laughs> yes, that title then. Okay, well, I've serious. got a bunch of you may notes. Have to, I've got, if you're in good enough health, you may have to make a trip down to, to sunny Florida and come stay with me so we can talk. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm 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 fit to do that, but I, I would like to get some shows down there uh, for me and Joe better. Rucker. Absolutely. Me, me and Joe Rucker and Kyle uh, Canote. He, they are just incredible. Boy, man, Joe Rucker is. Look, Joe R U C K E R up on Facebook. Listen to okay. some of his stuff. And uh, he he's, he has missed the mark. He's now 40, early 40s, 42, 43. When you get that old, you don't, you know, you don't make it. We need it. to get him on the show and get him some exposure. Would you? Yes. Let me tell, can I tell him to call you? Absolutely. Okay. If he's got a Facebook page, tell him to hook up with me on Facebook because I am booking I shows see. for December and next year already. All right. And now Yvonne Mason is how you are on Facebook that he can look you up? Yes, ma'am. When when you accept my friend request, you mm-hmm. will see the I'm banner thinking. has the banner has the show um on it, but my um my profile picture is a picture of one of my books, Do You Dare? Okay, and just a minute. Let me find the. Uh, let me find where I go to get the. Uh, there you are, my sweetheart. Confirmed. You yep. are confirmed. Now we, now we be friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, this well, we were pre- we were predestined to be friends. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We were. Okay, I'm gonna tell Joe Rucker to friend you, and, yes. and get, I'm gonna get him. It, what number? How can he get in touch with you to call you? Um, he can. What I'll do is I'll send you my phone number. Okay, and I, listen, my you got a pen? Write my number down. Why don't you one, message uh, it? Because see what will happen is people can hear I'll this in the you. archives. Oh, no, 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 Both. we don't want that. We'll no, do it on so, Messenger. I'll send you. There you go. So message it to me because okay. I don't want some crazy okay. lunatic calling you. I'd have to send my flying monkeys after them. I thought we were gone off of the archive thing. Well, see, it, it's like the outtakes in the movies. The, oh, when the, the, it goes into archives, people can hear what we're and, – and I don't mind because they they get to hear things like the inspiration for the song. And that mm-hmm. I want Joe Rucker on my song. So sometimes they get little tidbits that they don't normally get. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell Joe to send you a friend request, and y'all can exchange on Messenger your numbers. And there I you can go. Do the same. Okay. And so, well, you probably, got, you probably got things to do, and I'm going to start in earnest on my book. I've got some notes down, and Joe's got some notes. He, he's got a bunch of things that, you know, there's some things you can't really tell the Tell all about because he gets so tickled at me when I'm telling about the funny things that happen on the road, and it, just it, about. And you just can't make that stuff up. You can't. I after we get off the air, or we, can we be off? I got to get off the air. I got to tell you something real funny, but I can't tell it to people. Well, I can't do it through the show, though. I mean, I can't I do know. it through here. Well, I'll just well, I'll just we'll message talk. you my phone number and we'll talk tomorrow. Yes. Okay, baby. Well, I love you already. I love you, and, and I, I love, love your you. audience. And and you take care. And I'll be praying for your. What's your husband's name? Jack. Jack. I'll be praying yes, for him to be to, Thank you. to have peace in his body. To to not hurt. Thank you. You know, we may have things in our. In our bodies, I'm right now. I've got a mass underneath my breastbone, but the doctors uh, sent me to an oncologist, 
the other day, and I thought, an oncologist? That's a cancer doctor. But he this, he was actually a lung cancer doctor, and that wasn't where it is. It's a lot more in my, uh, my uh, oh, gosh, up my throat. What is that when you have a uh, thyroid? Your esophagus? Mm-hmm. In my thyroid. And he, they sending me to a thyroid specialist just to get a, he said he didn't think it was anything, and I don't either. I'm trusting the Lord that it's not. But if it is, it's in God's hands, and I am going to be fine till I get my mission done. What, there you go. I, my book and my, this, this heaven or hell thing, it's going to be incredible. And so uh, I go to a uh, thyroid specialist, oncologist, to get an ultrasound next week. And Keep we'll know exactly. We got things oh, yeah. to do, my darling. We've got things to do, and it may be that I do have to come to Florida to expedite getting the book situation. We can do it. You know? Yeah. You, you can put up with me? Of course. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you later, honey. I know you guys. All right, know. sweetheart. Have a good evening. And thank you. Too, you too. And we'll be, thank you. You have just made a. You just uh, are incredible. You're just so good, and I'm just so honored and blessed that that Michael got us in touch. Me and, too. Thank you, Michael Stover. Yes, thank. And he got the sweet. Are you on his Facebook? He's got the sweetest little girl, Callie. Yep, <laughs> she's, a, she's a cutie pie. Isn't she something? She just makes me, she makes my heart happy just to see her because she's always smiling. Except she mm-hmm. was sick the other day, the first time I didn't see her smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, i talk to you later, and I love you, and God bless you. And ditto, love you, and God bless you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, honey, bye-bye. Bye-bye. When we go out to eat, we never agree on where to go. I want burgers. Pizza. Tacos it is. The one thing we do agree on is we all want unlimited high-speed data. That's why we switch to Metro PCS. Stop by Metro PCS with the whole family and get four lines with unlimited LTE data for just $100, period. Metro PCS. Wireless. Figure it out. Coverage not available in some areas. Requires new line. During congestion, the fraction of customers using more than 35 gigs per month may notice reduced speeds. Video streams at up to 40p. No tethering. See store for details and terms and conditions. When we go out to eat, we never agree on where to go. I want burgers. Pizza. Tacos it is. The one thing we do agree on is we all want unlimited high-speed data. That's why we switch to Metro PCS. Stop by Metro PCS with the whole family and get four lines with unlimited LTE data for just $100, period. Metro PCS. Wireless. Figure it out. Coverage not available in some areas. Requires new line. During congestion, the fraction of customers using more than 35 gigs per month may notice reduced speeds. Video streams at up to 40p. No tethering. See store for details and terms and conditions.